Things are finally starting to get back to normal for tens of millions of people this morning. But the winter storm that's been rolling across the country has left a lot of damage in its wake. This morning, millions of people are back on the roads this holiday weekend after a powerful winter storm wreaked havoc across most of the country. In the Midwest, blizzard conditions turned deadly, claiming at least six lives. In parts of Minnesota, almost a foot of snow fell in just 36 hours. Ice snarling traffic in Kansas and strong wind gusts making some drivers lose control of their big rigs. And in the south, heavy rains cause widespread flooding. In Tennessee, a 30-year-old woman's body was recovered after she was reportedly swept away by rushing waters. More fortunate news in Georgia, where a woman and a baby were rescued from the flood-swollen waters of Clay Creek. And in Louisiana, high winds and thunderstorms led to frightening power surges. On the East Coast, snow and freezing rain made for dangerous driving conditions in New Hampshire. I-90 was closed for several hours Friday after several trucks jackknifed. An end of the year storm sure to impact holiday travel this weekend. And that ripple effect too. The storm's down but not out. You can see with the radar, we still have some of the rain across the southeast, some lake effect snow in through the Great Lakes. That's ushering in some of that colder air. But this is where it's going to linger for the next couple of days. We have a boundary setting up. That's keeping the rain, something they don't need in cities like Atlanta, Birmingham, where they saw three to four inches of rain yesterday. Flooding still a big concern. With that boundary there, you have the clouds, you have the rain scattered across the region the next few days. So that means into the rest of the week. Weekend. We'll be watching that next area of low pressure develop. That's going to help bring in even more moisture. Notice all the green, the cold air locked to the uh, west there into the Midwest and the Northern Plains. That's where we could see some snow everywhere else. Another round of several inches of rainfall through Monday. We're talking anywhere from one to two inches of rain through the Tennessee Valley. You can see again in places well on their way to the number one wettest year on record places like Wilmington and D.C. Could be looking at more rain, but also Atlanta closing in at number two so far with more rain in the forecast.